Okay. So um, Kevin Kennedy on the live stream had another comment. He says, I hear people say this will lead to a target being built in Blue Sky Ranch. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Measure H now. And yeah, I mean, uh, all of this is insane. Okay. They're going to, they're building, they're building uh, homes in the farm. There's a proposal to build a fitness club in the farm. Will this open the door potentially for more commercial buildings in Poway, especially in the areas that were previously protected by Prop FF? Maybe, maybe. Um, because like, you, you can't build a target at Blue Sky Ranch unless the voters vote because it's part of Prop FF. Okay, will Prop FF be removed as law? Will it be overturned? Very unlikely. I mean, almost less than 1% chance of that happening. But do I think that in general, not just in Poway, but just in general, are we going to see more development of housing and commercial property and fitness clubs and targets in previously open space? Definitely. And we have to do it because the population is rising. We have to build more because to, to meet that demand, we have to build more so it's not so freaking expensive. And we have to just recognize reality that the population is growing <laughs> and there's more people, you know, and you have to handle that. Does that mean I think they're going to put a target in Blue Sky Ranch? No, no, they're not. I mean, less than 0.1% chance of that happening. But of course, people in social media, the hysteria will come out and they're going to say the sky is falling they'll, they, and they'll hate it all. But, you know, it is a fact of life. I mean, if you roll the clock back here in Poway, roll it back 100 years, 50 years, Poway was a lot different then. And there were a lot of places in Poway that was open space. And now... There's a target and a wall and a parking lot there, you know, or there's something, there's housing there, or, you know, there's a business park there, or it's, it's just the steady progression of time and of human civilization. And I know there's a lot of people in Poway that just want to say no more. You know, Pete Neal reminds me, we should, we came to Poway because they wanted to keep out the development. We came to Poway because they passed these rules so that we couldn't turn this into Claremont Mesa or Mira Mesa. Okay, I understand that. I mean, if I could wave my magic wand, I would prevent anybody from building anywhere so I can protect my view. And so I have no traffic. But the reality is, is that other people have lives and they're pursuing their happiness. And many want to live in Poway and grow their family here. And there's very few places to buy or to rent, and it's expensive. And now they're building more, and it's just the natural progression of time. Some people have had it, and they're leaving Poway. They're moving. I mean, I know some people in Poway that moved to Coeur d'Alene and Idaho, have moved to Florida and places. I hate to say that. I mean, if you don't like it, move. But in general, that's kind of the way it works, right? I mean, humans have been moving and growing and progressing over centuries, over millennia. And even our hometown of Poway has gone through multiple phases of its growth. And to assume that you can hit the pause button and freeze building in Poway or even to, to minimize it, is being unrealistic to the world around you. Because cities everywhere in San Diego County are allowing more development because there is a housing crisis. Housing prices have gotten expensive, makes it hard on young people, first-time home buyers. It's how we have a homeless crisis. People on drugs and alcohol or people with mental issues a lot of them were able to rent before when it was cheap. <laughs> but prices keep going up and up and up. And then people have a streak of bad luck. And next thing you know, they're homeless. 
some of them may not have any addiction issues or mental health issues. They just got into a bad spot because it got too expensive and they couldn't afford their next rent payment. And it's all of the anti-development forces that are making the rent too damn high. And I don't know if people really understand that connection about how the market works. So that's why I'm just generally build more. Let property owners have the freedom to build on their property, provided they're not harming anyone else. They're not building a chemical plant or a nuclear reactor. We're just talking about housing. We're talking about a fitness center. Just let people build. And then I think property rights are, are protected and we begin to see, I mean, granted, a fitness club isn't going to change the housing crisis, but that whole development will. You know, it's only like, I don't know, roughly speaking, a couple hundred homes. But every little bit ha helps. And, you know, by the way, have you noticed that in San Diego County, the rent is going down? Rent prices are coming down because vacancy rates are increasing. Vacancy rates used to be 3%. Now, because of all the new construction, it's 6%. This is what I'm talking about, is that now when you have more open places, more vacancies, more empty homes and empty apartments that are for sale and for rent, now suddenly the landlord doesn't have as much competition. Now, right now, a landlord or a person selling a home, they'll probably get 10 people interested, 20 people interested, get multiple offers, a competitive race to see who's going to get that property. But because the market is skewed to their advantage because there's not enough supply, there's not enough inventory, and NIMBYs are, are making that landlord rich. They might not know it, they may not realize it, but they are. If we build more, prices will relax, hopefully come down more, but at minimum, not skyrocket, maybe sort of stabilize. Um, but in many cases, I think go down the more we have competitive opportunities to shop from. Um, and I think that's a good thing. So Kevin, I don't think we need to worry about building a target in Blue Sky Ranch, but I think I did see that comment. People with their hair on fire, upset about all of this.